For this week's Sports Star Spotlight, we're stopping in Georgia for one of the rising names in soccer. For the second consecutive year, Gatorade awarded his National Girls High School Soccer Player of the Year to a sophomore. In 2021, it was Alyssa Thompson from Harvard Westlake in California. And this past spring, it went to Riley Jackson from Blessed Trinity Catholic in Roswell, Georgia. Riley inherited a love of soccer from her parents. My parents met playing soccer, so naturally they signed me up and I started playing when I was really young. So Riley actually used to sit uh, on the bench with us in her bassinet while we would play indoor soccer games. My mom played in college at North Georgia. She's one of my biggest role models with soccer. My dad played amateur soccer pretty much all his life. He's coached me um, since I was little and he actually surprised me last year and told me that he was going to start coaching my high school team. So he's made a lot of sacrifices for me. You know, we just wanted them to be involved in things, and soccer is one of the first things we exposed them to. Riley, I think we put her on a team when she was three, but um, within a year or two, she really started to enjoy it and develop a love for the game, and really that's what was most important to us, is just that our kids would find something that they enjoy and that they're passionate about. That love has only grown in the years since then. Riley's drive to improve has allowed her to become one of the country's best players in the 2024 class. I love being a part of a team and I think that it's fun being able to play with different people and play off of each other's abilities and strengths. We just gave her opportunities. We never really had to push her to say, hey, you should go do this. Uh, she always wanted to, whether it was a three on three tournament, a small group training session, going to practice with the boys team. You know, we would give her opportunities and say, hey, do you want to do this? And she always said yes. And she has the same sort of work ethic now, just training on her own. We don't ever say, hey, Riley, maybe you should go train. In fact, we oftentimes have to say, Riley, we think you need a break. In her sophomore season, Riley had 14 goals and 18 assists. Number one, she is an absolute perfectionist. She wants every touch to be perfect. Uh, she wants every pass to be perfect. She wants every shot to be perfect. Just the way she touches the ball and her, her success rate in passes is unbelievable. But I really think what really, really sets her apart is her, her motor. Um, she just runs and runs and runs. She never stops. Um, I don't know how many miles she puts in every game, but I guarantee you that it's more than any other player in the field in every game she plays in. She helped Blessed Trinity reach the state semifinals last year, but she wasn't able to play in the semifinal game because she was called up to the USA U-17 team for World Cup qualifying. Not only did she help the team win the CONCACAF U-17 championship, but she was also named the tournament's best player. I think when they first told me that I had won that award, my mouth was just hanging open like I was so shocked. It's a huge honor, obviously, getting to win that award. I don't think it would have been possible for me, though, without my coaches and teammates pushing me to be better every day and all the support that I had from at home. It was really awesome getting to experience that with the group of girls because we all came from having that same dream when we were young to be able to represent the Crest. And during my high school games, when the national anthem would play, I'd always imagine being in that U.S. jersey, hearing the national anthem for the first time. So when I got that experience, it was just so surreal. I got so many goosebumps. Riley's playing on being with the U.S. team again next month at the U-17 Women's World Cup in India. All this success has led to Riley becoming a bit of a celebrity in her hometown. And while that's still surprising to her, she's enjoying the opportunity to inspire the next generation. So I was in Publix the other day with my mom and a little girl walked up to me and said, are you Riley Jackson? Which was just like the coolest thing ever for me. I like to stay involved with the soccer community too. I ref soccer games, I train little kids in my basement and I love giving back. I love um, being a role model because I have had a lot of role models in my life. So I want to have that same impact on people's lives that they've had on mine. Yeah, it's just really one of the things that we just admire about her as a person. You know, she's almost always putting others before herself. She loves kids, uh, she lo she's super encouraging, helping them develop the kind of same kind of passion for the game that she has. She still has two seasons of high school soccer to play and she's just getting started in her college recruitment process. Whether it's at the high school, college, or international levels, Riley Jackson is going to be a name to remember in the soccer world for years to come. Ultimately, I want to play professionally and want to play on the national team. That's been my goal all my life. I don't just want to play on the national team, though. I want to have like an impact on the team. I want to be able to be a role model for younger girls. I think the moment that I got to lift the trophy with everyone around me was really the moment I realized, like, wow, like this is what I want to do. Like, I need to keep working hard. I mean, obviously, it was just a little taste of what shoes I want to be in when I'm older because I see those the women lift the World Cup trophy and put on their gold medals for the Olympics. So just having that opportunity was really, I'm really blessed and really grateful, but I need to know that I'm not done yet.
Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.